Here is my Republic of Ireland 100% complete sticker album from Panini. There's the front cover. There's the badge. Actually, quite a nice effect on the uh, front cover there. There's the welcome to the album, the badge. The Aviva Stadium, formerly known as Lansdowne Road. There's the team picture. No no badge for Martin O'Neill or Roy Keane for some reason. Well, here is the Republic of Ireland squad. All the players who, of course, are featured in the um, qualifying campaign. And we start with the legend, the man, Shay Given. 133 caps, 60 clean sheets. The man's a legend. I think he's still at Aston Villa at the moment. But he's a true legend. One of the best goalkeepers of all time in the Premier League. Then we have David Ford of Millwall, a bit underrated. 23 cap caps, 8 clean sheet. Shame he's in his um, 30s because I think this guy had a great future as a top goalkeeper. Darren Randolph of West Ham United. Now there's a name to watch out for. He will be one of the greatest goalkeepers for the Republic of Ireland and the Premier League. I'll tell you, West Ham have got a top-class goalkeeper there. Six caps, two clean sheets. He's got a big future ahead of him. What can I say about Mr Coleman? Absolutely unbelievable player. 32 caps, 13 clean sheets. He's a major part of the Republic of Ireland. We need him 100% fit going into France. Absolutely amazing player. Kieran Clark, 15 caps, 7 clean sheets. Don't know a lot about him. Richard Keon, again, 11 caps, 5 clean sheets. Not a bad player. Playing his football in the championship for Derby County. Mark Wilson of Stoke City, very underrated, but he put a, put a lot of hard work in that qualifying campaign and an absolute good workhorse for the Republic of Ireland. John O'Shea, he has his critics, but he did score the equaliser against Germany. He is the um, Republic of Ireland captain, so for that I'll say thank you very much. Stephen Ward, 31 caps, a good player, not the best in the world, but hey, he gives it 100%. A.D. McGeady, what a goal against Georgia. On his day, he's a class, this player. The road to France, we have Georgia v. the Republic of Ireland, our 7 0 drubbing of Gibraltar. The amazing one all draw in Germany. Of course, we lost in an epic game at Celtic Park v Scotland. Republic of Ireland only managing a point at home to Poland. The game really should have won. And at the time, we were fourth in the group. Back to the players. Glenn Wheeland, again, a very hard working player. Wes Houlihan. An absolute legend at Norwich City. I don't regard him as one of the Republic of Ireland's best players. Could do a lot better. <laughs> Sorry, Norwich City fans. Jeff Hendricks. Again, don't know a lot about him. He has it 19 caps. So I can't really say much about him. James McCarthy. 33 caps. On his day, he's an absolute brilliant player. I think a bit underrated. <clears throat> Robbie Brady of Norwich City. What a player. Absolutely underrated. Four goals he scored. Of course, one very important goal. Back in Bosnia in the fog. He's absolute quality. 
He's young enough, and I'll still see a big future for Robbie Brady. James McLean. Again, underrated. 34 caps, 4 goals. He's quick, he's fast. He's got a great... He's passing, he's a magnificent... Ah, oh, great player. Deserves more, deserves more James McLean. And again, come on, there's a big future for him. <coughs> Well, not a lot I can say about Robbie Keane. He is the all-time Republic of Ireland and the UK top goal scorer. Seven, 67 goals for Ireland. He scored more goals than Robert, than Wayne Rooney. He is just... He takes my breath away. Absolute class player. He, he's had his critics saying he only scores against the weak nations. You know, those weak nations like Germany, Holland, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, world class, just world class striker and totally underrated. Here we have John Walters of Stoke City getting on a bit. He's old, well into his 30s, but he's what a workhorse. He gives it everything, you know. He gives everything that he has, and I think even Stoke City fans will agree, like us Republic of Ireland supporters will say, you've never seen a player work so hard on the field, 100% commitment, and a very underrated player, John Walters. Next we have Shane Long, at times could be better, but he did grab the winner against the world champions. So, what can I say? 14 goals, 59 caps. He's a, he's a Republic Final legend. Just for that one goal against Germany. And here we have Daryl Murphy. Again, 18 caps. Can't say much about him. Then we finish up with the second part of the Road to France. We drew 1-0 with Scotland, which was a could have been a bad result. Easily beat Gibraltar 4-0. Beat Georgia 1-0 in a disappointing game. But, even though maybe Germany did dominate the game, but we kept it strong in the fence. On the, on the break, ball through the Sean Lane. Sean Long. Yeah, Shane Long. We'll get it right eventually. Shane Long, and he buried it for a famous 1-0 win over Germany. Then we lost 2-1 in Poland. Finishing third. And there are the campaign heroes. Still a bit of time there for Shay Given. Of course, top stopper, Mr. Darren Ralph. Who I said for is going to be a top class goalkeeper. We have Shane Long, Robbie Keane. All the players that gave it their all in our road to France. Of course, there's the end of the album. Bit of a montage to our playoff victory over Bosnia. Of course, 1-0 one one in the fog and 2-0 win in Ireland. The book our place at France. Again, the front is the same as the back. And why not have another badge at the back? And that was my Republic of Ireland 2000. 2016 album complete. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll say goodbye for now.